Well, if you could only take one jerk bait to a water that you've never fished before, uh, this would probably be it. Tough polycarbonate on design. It's a deep body design. So it does lots of wobbling and swimming from side to side. Very, very easy jerk bait. Probably the best jerk bait that anyone can start that type of fishing with uh, because it's easy to get the thing to do what, what you want it to do. Uh, they also swim quite nicely on a straight retrieve side to side and often that's that's when you get the hits actually. Even a slow retrieve will see it, the, the, the lure kind of doing its thing through the water uh, and that's enough, that's enough particularly for the pike. Uh, I've had success with the right, perch colours, uh, what else have I had, the, this, this yellowy fluorescent colour very good this would be my number one I think this chartreuse with a bit of blue on the top and a bit of orange on the bottom bizarrely enough that's done really well even in very clear water so uh, yeah I, if, I, if I took one it would be that color pros are they wobble as they sink so that's good adds a bit of flash especially with these the hologram ones pretty good they cast for miles, there's something about them, they seem to catch a bit of a plane on the air and they'll just go further than pretty much anything else for the weight. And generally they're very good at triggering bites. One thing I would say though is compared to something like the Nils Masters, the body's quite wide. If the pike takes the head, it needs to be pretty big to get, get around that. A small pike is going to just get hooked under the chin. They don't tend to hook up, I find, on the tail, they tend to hook up on the middle. So the issue is you can have you can lose fish because the the hookup isn't quite as effective as it could be simply because the pike sometimes is not just not big enough to hit the fish that it's hitting. Uh, I would say a good average size is that is the medium size which I think is about eight centimeters something like that. That's a good size for the UK. Unless you're in a really big water like Grafham or somewhere where you're really big pike, 20 pound plus pike, then you're into the big one. If you want to try jerk baits for the very first time, have a look at the Salmo sliders. Uh, they come in a range of sizes that will suit any casting rig. You don't need a jerk bait rod to fish them at all. Uh, they will move, do the whole thing, and you get an idea for what you're doing. Uh, if this small one is cracking, uh, does the job, especially on canals, uh, sinking version. I've never found the floating versions particularly uh, useful, the sinking ones are a bit better, and you can count them down 